looking at schools that were all along the East Coast and stumbled upon Flagler because it was a small school and kind of fit all of the requirements that I wanted there. And when I looked into the Coastal Environmental Science program that they had, I just knew that it was going to be a perfect fit for me. Especially because our classes within our major are so hands-on, you're out in the field, you're outside almost just as much as you're in the classroom, so you really get that outdoor learning experience. When I'm not in class, for the most part, I am definitely out in the field taking water samples and then coming back and I'm in the lab a ton. I'm probably in the lab and in the field more than I actually am in the classroom, which has been a really awesome opportunity uh, just to be able to get some hands-on experience that way. Especially um, doing undergraduate research, it really gave me Dr. Brown as an amazing mentor. He is so humble and kind and so insightful and just being able to get to know him and to have that relationship with a faculty member has really set me up for success. He is like a partner in terms of research. He really makes it so that, you know, you don't have to feel like, oh my God, this is new, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, you know, he understands that a lot of these things are new and over time, once you learn these skills, you know, he challenges me to learn new things, but really he has been a very awesome person that I probably will keep in touch with after my time at Flagler. Having undergraduate research experience is not something that a lot of colleges are able to provide and do. And so when I was applying to graduate schools and when I was starting to talk to my new advisor at the University of Connecticut, I, I felt ready, I felt prepared. I'm gonna be studying salt marsh restoration and biogeochemistry, which is really exciting, but I'm going into climate change research, which is ideally what I wanna do. Um, um, I'm looking at salt marshes because they hold more carbon dioxide than terrestrial plants or plants on land can. So yeah, it's definitely a solution for climate change and I'm very excited to get into that.